Well, Alexis, with uh, the uh, ESSER or elementary or secondary school relief fund expected to dry up in just a matter of weeks, advocates say if something doesn't change, students will be paying the price. Dozens gathered outside Hartford City Hall Saturday calling for elected officials to pour more funding into local schools. We think that the state and the municipality and the federal government need to stop making excuses and make commitments to real solutions to our public schools because that is the future of our society. With COVID relief funding set to expire this month and communities across the state cutting money from their education budgets to prevent a rise in taxes, schools are underfunded. Students are concerned that the cost cutting will continue. Now that we're losing funding when we got for COVID, it just raised the question, when is it going to stop? Advocates say students will pay the price. Every day our dedicated teachers and paraeducators struggle with inadequate pay yep. and lack yep. of resources. Yep. Mm -hmm. This severely impacts our children's education, stripping them of opportunities like music and art programs. Advocates are concerned that the lack of funding will further the education gap in minority-driven and low-income schools. If we don't act now, we risk losing public schools as we know them. Mm. We must oppose initiatives that undermine our public schools and fight for equitable solutions. Now, we reached out to Governor Lamont's office for a comment, but we did not hear back. Reporting in studio tonight, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.